Hi everyone, I'm Phil. Welcome to the Esplanade. Uh, this is a several part series over the next few weeks. On Tuesdays it will come out and you'll be able to sort of watch what uh, we're doing behind the scenes here at Esplanade. So uh, come on out to the stage, let's have a look. Come on over to stage right. We're going to have a look at the fly system and learn a little bit about the simple machines that make uh, theater work. Welcome to stage right. Uh, this is where our fly system is. And uh, you can see here, we have 45 lines and we can put approximately 1,500 pounds of uh, weight on each uh, pipe or batten. Um, simply what happens is we put 500 pounds on a pipe, we put 500 pounds on a arbor, and the counterbalances it and gives us the ability to operate it using this rope. Um, let's go up top and have a look at how we put the weights on and counterbalance things and operate the system. Hopefully through the magic of video, you got here faster than I did. Uh, come on in. Okay, here we are at mid-station, or the operating rail. Um, you can see uh, a pretty good view of the uh, fly system over top of the stage. Um, all the aircraft cables are attached to the battens or the pipes. And here's one we can look at right now. You can see that the lights are attached to this. We call this LX3. Um, and there's six lines attached to this pipe that go over the loft blocks, through the head blocks, and come back down and are attached to the top end of the batten, which is counterweighted. You can see this rope, which we use to operate the fly system, is attached to the top, and you saw earlier it was attached to the bottom. This is uh, the lock we use to sort of hold it in place. So when we're counterbalanced, or close to counterbalanced, this lock will hold about 50 pounds, so kind of keep it uh, from moving. Um, sometimes it's a little heavy, sometimes it's a little light, but it depends on whether or not you need to move it out fast or bring it in fast. Um, so Jack can demonstrate how the locking system works and unlock it for us, and you'll be able to see the arbor go by and the weight that's on it used to counterweight the uh, lights. And as we go past, get to the bottom of the arbor, and you can see where it's tied on the bottom, and that's pretty easy to operate. It needs approximately oh, about 800 pounds on there. So once we have all the lights in place, or the scenery, or the drapes that were attached to the fly system, the battens, um, during the show we have to operate things. Um, so we uh, typically will label stuff, so it's quick and easy to find in the dark, because we do work in the dark up here and we have the ability to know what the legs are, or what the borders are, or if there's a piece of scenery, we can mark it with a piece of tape. Um, so during the show, someone will be up here and will be told to move the uh, piece of scenery in or out of this, of this scene. Um, you can have a close look that there's about 45 lines here. Uh, a lot of them are stationary and don't really move during the show, but some of them do. It just depends, it's very dynamic. So we're about uh, 38 feet over the stage right now, um, and there's a couple ways we get up here. We have stairs, and uh, if we have to get up here quickly, we can use our fall arrest gear and come up on the ladders. Um, so there's one ladder here that comes to the mid station. There's another ladder here that goes to the loading rail, which is where we're gonna head to the next spot and uh, show you how we load weights on the arbor and prepare for shows. Why not take it the lazy way, the stairs? Sometimes a bit freaky when you first get up here because everything's black. But come on up and have a look around. You get a better view of the fly system. You can see the lines a little bit more. You can start to see the gridiron and how all the cabling and power comes in for uh, working the lights on the system. 
Anyways, I'll meet you up top. All right, welcome to the grid. Come on out and have a look. Uh, these are the waffle blocks I was talking about. Um, and you can see how the cable goes to the loft block and goes back to where we're going to go to the loading rail. And we're standing on the gridiron, which is basically a grid of steel. Um, it's fairly open, so we have flexibility to use chain motors and hang things that are not as part of the fly system. Um, and we have the ability to hang about 70,000 pounds from the fly tower. Anyways, let's head over to loading rail. Welcome to the loading gallery. Uh, we're approximately 76 feet-ish from the stage, and this is where we load the arbors with weights to counterbalance what we have on the baton. Um, Jack's gonna come up and demonstrate how we do that. So that's approximately uh, 60 pounds of weight that we added to that pipe. And that's how we uh, counterbalance the arbor. Here's a little closer look at the head block, uh, all the meat and potatoes of the steel that has to hold all the weight we're putting on the system. And as you pan around, you can do a little closer look at the loft blocks. And you can see all six lines coming in the first one, and as it heads over to stage left, we get down to the last line. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tour of the backstage fly system here at the Esplanade, and we'll see you next week.